For loops are great. We use them a ton. I'll show you a few more situations uh, where we use them with strings, where we use them with arrays. But first, I want to talk about something that's not so great. And this is true of many types of loops across all languages. You can write infinite loops. And an infinite loop is something you absolutely want to avoid. Do not run this code. It's not going to break your computer. It's not going to um, set it on fire or crash anything. But your window that you run it in on your browser is going to be very unhappy. And I might show you what happens. I definitely have written many infinite loops accidentally. And I'll talk about how that happens. But the idea behind an infinite loop is that you write a loop where the ending condition is never met. So the second part of your for loop in this case would always be true. So here's an example. I'm saying start i at 20, add one to i each time, and run this loop while i is greater than or equal to zero. It's always going to be greater than or equal to zero because I'm always adding to i and it starts at 20. So it will run on and on and on and on and on until either JavaScript freaks out or the browser freaks out. Um, you'll see what happens. I guess I'll show it to you. I've committed to it at this point. So you want to be careful about this. When you're writing a for loop and especially when you write while loops, which we'll cover next. So let's try and create one, an infinite loop. Let's count. Let's create an i that starts at 1. And I'm going to add 2 to i each time. So maybe I'm trying to count 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on up until I hit 20. So my condition, a poorly written condition, would be run this when i is not equal to 20. But there's a problem here. I'm starting i at 1. I'm adding 2 to it each time. So we'll get 3, and then we'll get five, well, we'll get 1, then 3, then 5, then 7. We'll never have 20. So it's always going to be not equal to 20. We'll never hit 20. We're counting on odd numbers because we start at 1. So we blow right past it. Oh, gosh. Here we go. I'm going to run it. I'm being dramatic. It's not that bad. But you can see what's happening here. We've already hit 2,903. And did my browser stop? Yeah, OK. Now it's lagging. I can't scroll. I can't click. It's getting all jittery. It's just going to keep going. And then eventually Chrome is going to ask me if I want to kill the process. You might have seen that before. If you're trying to open something intensive in the browser or a page is being weird, uh, a little window pops up and says, do you want to kill or wait on this web page? I'll click kill when that eventually pops up. And I'll be back in a bit. OK, so eventually I killed it. Uh, my computer is now very angry. You can hear the fans going, most likely, through the microphone. It got very warm because it's trying to do all these computations, and there's no end in sight. It just keeps going and going and going and going. And that's uh, not good behavior. So infinite loops are something we want to avoid. So in general, when you're doing a for loop, there's a couple things to look out for before you ever run the code. The first is just pay attention and make sure you're going in the right direction. This is a simple one, but if you're trying to count backwards from 200 or from 100, let i equals 100, and we'll decrement by 1, we want this code to run when i is greater than or equal to 0. But often, at least sometimes I do this, I'm so used to doing i less than or equal to something that that's what I'll go with, and that causes an infinite loop. I usually catch myself, but it's just something to pay attention to. Make sure that if you're going backwards or you're going forwards, whichever direction you're going, that your condition here is appropriate. And the other piece of advice that I have is that I would pretty much never use equality or non-equality in a for loop. If you're working with numbers, it's much better to do greater than or less than, because then we would avoid a situation like this. If I did want to count from 3 to 5 to 7, and I wanted to stop as soon as we get past 20, it would just be better if I said, while i is less than or equal to 20. Because even if we don't hit 20 exactly, if we're starting at 1, we add 2, we'll end up with 19, and then we get to 21, we skipped over 20, but the loop will still stop, because this won't be true anymore. So just two things, make sure you're going in the right direction, your logic makes sense here, and generally try to avoid equality and non-equality there. I prefer to use greater than and less than when I can. So I'm going to add a note here. Don't run this. This will cause an infinite loop. I'll get rid of that one. You probably will encounter an infinite loop or two, but at this point, 
Uh, hopefully you'll be able to identify what's going on. It will be very clear when your browser just starts freaking out at you and getting hot and jittery and uh, laggy. It happens. It's nothing to be ashamed of, but it's definitely something you want to be on the lookout for and try and prevent if you can.